Welcome back to another episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy from the Edelman Planetarium. Today will be a little different than the past few episodes. Instead of a topic in astronomy, we'll be discussing a famous space mission, Apollo 13, a mission probably known by many of you for its dramatization in the film by the same name, starring Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, and Bill Paxton. The seventh crewed mission of the Apollo program, Apollo 13, launched on April 11, 1970. While initially planned to be the third moon landing, this mission instead became a symbol of bravery, ingenuity, and triumph in the face of immense challenges. When, 50 years ago today, on April 13th, a routine stir of one of the spacecraft's oxygen tanks led to an explosion, crippling the mission and endangering the lives of crew members Fred Hayes, Jim Lovell, and Jack Swigert. Okay, all right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. We've had a main beam on Thunderbolt. Roger, main beam Thunderbolt. Okay, stand by, 13, we're looking at it. On their way home, the astronauts would face incredible adversity. The explosion reduced the available supply of oxygen, used not just to provide air for breathing, but also to generate power for the spacecraft, power needed to run vital spacecraft functions, such as navigation, communications, heating, and more. Having launched just two days prior, the spacecraft was currently en route to the moon. Due to its trajectory, the astronauts couldn't just turn around and go home. Despite a nearly catastrophic failure, they had no choice but to go all the way to the moon and then turn around to go home, a journey which would take an additional four days. In this time, the astronauts would face many hurdles. The Apollo spacecraft came in two parts, which could operate on their own. The most famous is probably the lunar module, the part that would actually land on the moon. This module was designed to take two people to the surface of the moon for a short time. Since it was never designed to be occupied for a long time, it wasn't supplied with a method of power generation, and instead relied on onboard batteries. And it only had enough oxygen for two people to breathe for 45 hours. The other part of the Apollo spacecraft was the Command and Service Module, the CSM. This was the mothership of the mission, which itself had two parts, the Command Module and the Service Module. The Service Module was not habitable, but housed vital components for the Command Module, such as a propulsion system, environment control systems, communication systems, and electrical systems including power-generating fuel cells, which was critically damaged during the explosion. The command module was the habitable space where Apollo astronauts would spend most of the trip, and was where the astronauts would be during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. After the explosion in one of the service module's oxygen tanks, and further damages resulting from it, the astronauts were forced to use the lunar module as a lifeboat. They managed to stretch its limited oxygen, effectively tripling the supply available, making it enough for three people to survive for 90 hours. To make matters worse, the carbon dioxide removal system on the lunar module was not up to the task of sustaining three people for this long. So engineers in Mission Control devised a way to modify the command module's carbon dioxide scrubbers to work in the service module using a sock some plastic bags, duct tape, and other items available to the crew. Despite these challenges, and many others, Hayes, Lovell, and Swigert were able to return home safely to Earth on April 17, 1970. The failures of the mission exposed many potential problems with the Apollo spacecraft, problems which were largely addressed in following missions.
Want to live through the events of Apollo 13 in real time? Visit apolloinrealtime.org 13. But don't hang around there too long. We'll be back with another episode of Cabin Fever Astronomy before they land. Or did, 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs>